The past few months have been riddled with uncertainty for every Lewis Hamilton fan out there. Will he or won't he extend his time in Formula 1? Is Mercedes the team he chooses or will Hamilton make a shock move out of Brackley? Those questions were answered last week when Hamilton officially put an end to speculation by confirming his contract extension with Mercedes until the conclusion of the 2025 season. Lewis Hamilton says his decision to sign a new contract with Mercedes was motivated by the fact that he and the team have unfinished business in Formula 1. His remark casts minds back to the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Is he fueled by a desire for vengeance? Let's find out. Lewis Hamilton's commitment to Mercedes for at least two more years is a significant move, extending his Formula 1 career beyond the age of 40. This decision opens up the opportunity for him to chase his elusive 8th World Championship, a title he has yearned for since securing his 7th. The circumstances surrounding the 2021 season finale at Yas Marina are still etched in the minds of F1 enthusiasts and are central to Hamilton's determination. Leading up to the final race of the 2021 season, there was rampant speculation that the intensely competitive championship might be decided in a contentious manner. To everyone's surprise, it indeed came down to a dramatic moment, but not the way anyone expected. During the qualifiers, Max Verstappen secured a brilliant pole position. However, it was Hamilton who took the lead by the first turn of the race. For a brief moment, it seemed like Hamilton was on the path to victory, which would have earned him the historic eighth championship but fate had other plans. On lap 53, a safety car deployment disrupted the race and set the stage for a final lap showdown for the championship. Mercedes was incensed by how the safety car period concluded, as only the lap cars were able to unlap themselves, and the race restarted on that very same lap. This allowed Verstappen, armed with fresh tyres, to overtake Hamilton into Turn 5 and snatch the world championship from the veteran driver's grasp. Since that pivotal moment, Verstappen has established dominance in the sport and is well on his way to securing a third consecutive title, while Hamilton has been grappling with a winless streak dating back to the race preceding the 2021 finale. Mercedes had dominated from 2014 to 2020, and it took a subtle tweak of the aerodynamic rules before the 2021 season to bring Red Bull onto a level playing field with them. However, no one, not even Hamilton and the Mercedes team themselves, could have predicted the extent of their struggles following the comprehensive overhaul of technical regulations for 2022, which reintroduced ground effect. Hamilton, who had voiced his discontent with the team's technical choices the previous year, found himself in a similar situation when the 2023's car design appeared unchanged from its predecessor. His frustration boiled over at the first race of the season, as it became evident that Mercedes would once again be uncompetitive. They had a tough 2023 season start, and they had to change their car design. While they've seen some improvement with the new car, the challenges remain. Despite facing tough times in the past two Formula One seasons, Lewis Hamilton is still hopeful that Mercedes can become a top performing team again. Hamilton stated, the goal is simple, setting the target is simple, but achieving it is not. Just make sure you are performing every weekend. I still feel like I can improve every weekend. That's what I love about this sport. You will never reach perfection, but the pursuit of perfection is about one of the best things you can do. If it's not next year, we will continue to work through it. But I truly believe that if it's not next year, it will be the year after. When asked about his declaration of unfinished business in Formula 1, Hamilton clarifies that it's not about seeking revenge or redemption. Instead, it's about returning Mercedes to their historical dominance and contending for world championships. Hamilton stated, We've been the most successful team in history and had the most successful run in the past 10 years or whatever. But it's been a challenge this past year, so I think it's just getting us back to where we belong and where we operate on all those cylinders which you're seeing Red Bull do. Hamilton firmly believes that with the support of his team, Mercedes can secure more world championships. His energy and focus are directed toward this collective goal. Hamilton's partnership with Mercedes has deep roots, dating back to his teenage years, and he acknowledged the strong bond they share. He drew inspiration from athletes like NFL star Tom Brady and fellow Formula One driver Fernando Alonso, who have proven that age is not a barrier to success. I think I look at people like Tom Brady, who's such an incredible athlete and has shown what can be done today," Hamilton noted, expressing his admiration for Brady's longevity and consistency in his career. He considered Brady a role model for all athletes. 
Hamilton also mentioned Fernando Alonso, highlighting his impressive performance at the age of 42 after returning to the sport. Hamilton continued, Of course, it's great seeing Fernando. He was here way before I was and obviously took that retirement and came back and is doing an amazing job. It just shows you that your talent never really leaves you. As long as you have that passion and that commitment, you can continue. But does Hamilton still have what it takes to challenge Verstappen? In the world of Formula 1, it's a well-established trend that as drivers age, their performance tends to decline. We've seen this with legends like Michael Schumacher and more recently with Sebastian Vettel's transition from a title-winning machine to a driver prone to mistakes. However, Lewis Hamilton has defied this norm as he advanced into his mid-30s. Instead of succumbing to age-related decline, Hamilton seemed to get even better with time. He retained the sharp reflexes and incredible touch that characterized his early years in the sport while adding the invaluable experience and patience that often come with age. This remarkable blend of qualities has arguably already placed him among the greatest F1 drivers of all time. But then came 2022, a year that stood out as Hamilton's worst ever F1 season in terms of championship finish. A surprising six and the absence of race wins. To make matters more eyebrow raising, he found himself outscored by his Mercedes rookie teammate, George Russell. It prompted many to wonder if this was the long anticipated sign of Hamilton's decline. However, the pundits at Sky F1 aren't ready to write off Hamilton just yet. They point out that in 2022, Hamilton had a poor performance because of the W13. If Mercedes can provide him with a competitive car, there's little doubt among the experts that Hamilton can deliver race wins and contend for world championships once again. Karen Chantock, in particular, believes that if Mercedes continues to struggle compared to their rivals by the end of 2023, Lewis Hamilton might face a situation similar to what happened in 2022. This means he could be trying out different ways to set up his car and exploring new strategies to get better results when the 2024 season starts. But there's a positive side too. In the past, whenever Hamilton's car improved, he showed that he could step up his performance and adapt to the changes. This proves that he can still perform at a very high level when given the right tools. Even Hamilton's fierce rival Max Verstappen acknowledges Hamilton's greatness, stating that if he has the right car, Hamilton can still fight for the title. So where does this leave us? It's clear that Lewis Hamilton remains one of the best in F1 and has the potential to secure that elusive eighth title. However, the Mercedes car needed for this might not be available until at least 2024. It's clear Hamilton and Mercedes have no intention of giving up before they achieve everything they want together, including that elusive eighth world title for Hamilton. Will Mercedes challenge Red Bull soon enough? Will we see in a round two between Verstappen and Hamilton? Will George Russell prove himself as a worthy adversary of Hamilton and pose a threat to his championship hopes? One thing is for sure, the coming years in F1 are bursting with excitement. Now over to you. What's your thought about Hamilton's chances for an eighth F1 title? Let us know in the comment section below. That will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can always get to watch more amazing videos like this. See you in the next video.